Hello again. I am still managing to keep up with it so far. Um, so my first thing that I wanted to say was thank you so much this morning to those who came. We seem to be slowly increasing in popularity to uh, have a meal with me. Um, and it, it just flowed really nicely. It was lovely, lovely to chat with you. I got lots of questions which were really helpful. Um, and yeah, it, it was just generally really pleasant. And lovely so thank you very much um who came to, uh, to those who came to that and if you weren't able to make it live then don't forget you can always just re-watch it get yourself a meal and still do some eating with me um and do some self-care together because it's important even during times that no one's watching especially during times that no one is watch watching yes yes uh, so I wanted to talk today a little bit about um, coping at home. So again, I hope that this will be relevant after these times of isolation and staying at home have ended, um, which again, I re reiterate as before, they will end. Um, but yeah, coping at home, I think, is something that people can often struggle with anyway. I think when you're trying to distract yourself from things that you struggle with, eating disorder or depression or anxiety or other addictions, etc. Um, it can be hard anyway to cope at home. It can be that there aren't enough distractions at home and you can struggle more with those urges. Uh, or it could be that you go out too much because you want to avoid that. And when you do go home, it's hard for you because it's so different and you don't know what to do with yourself, etc. So anyway, I have a few ideas, probably a lot of them you've heard of before, um, but please do comment below with anything that you do or have ever found helpful or other ideas that you might have that don't come up. Um, so yeah, thing number one, connect with others. So that could either be like, I've discovered a new thing called a Netflix party. Thank you to the person who pointed that out to me. Um, that you can, it's a attachment that you can put onto your browser, um, which means you can kind of watch Netflix with someone else, which is a lovely way of connecting and still filling up your time whilst having kind of company without having to be there. Um, also a phone call, uh, texting someone, messaging someone, sending a nice email to someone, you know, making those connections to people was a very good way to fill up that time. Um, another thing that could be helpful is um, gentle exercise at home, so such as yoga, um, or if you're um, if you're able to do um, Pilates safely, then you could potentially do that. There's quite a few courses and things that are available online in videos that you can um kind of move along to and follow their guidance so that could be very helpful and i'm aware that actually during this time quite a few gyms and um dance schools and various things are trying to make a kind of online membership available to people as well so hopefully over the next um over the next coming while uh those will actually provide more and more opportunities uh which would be good Another thing that's very good to pass time and to distract you is writing. Um, so when I say writing, I mean it in a very vast sense. It could just mean a list of things that you're grateful for. It could mean journaling. Uh, it could mean writing poetry. Uh, it could be planning for something. So something that I actually can spend an awful lot of time doing and um, really distract myself as if I plan for something in the future. So it could be that I'm um, planning what tomorrow is going to look like, or I'm planning a week schedule, or I could be planning a shop. It's just, um, it can be quite nice to kind of put it down on paper and have a list that you get to check off on another day. Something like that it can really uh, distract you in the uptime and motivate you depending on what you're planning. Um, but yeah, it could even just be something simple like a list. You could write a list of conversation starters that aren't about coronavirus, which is a useful list to have on hand. Um, that leads me on to the obvious other creative thing of doing some art. So uh, you could do colouring 
you don't have to have colouring books on hand to do colouring. You could try drawing something, tracing something. Um, you could... Ooh! Yeah. Do some colouring. That's also very good for kind of being mindful. Um, you could do painting and you could do paint by numbers, um, doodling, any of those kind of, you know, nice creative things. There are things where you... Um, where you can buy a kind of what looks like a black sheet and it's got an outline on it and you use a scalpel and you scrape off the kind of black outline and underneath it shows metal and it looks very pretty. Um, so there's lots of different options there as well. Uh, reading, obviously, um, and that can also be done with others. Something I suggested in my last couple of videos is that it could be helpful if you agree with someone else that you're going to read a certain book until a certain page and then chat with them about it because it's kind of that connection as well as just reading. And I think it can be hard sometimes, um, at least I know for me, it is hard to sit and read a book um, if you are struggling and to distract yourself. But knowing that you kind of have got an end um, page goal uh, to get to uh, can help and kind of setting those goals can help you to do any of these suggestions really anyway. Um, and having that addition of having someone else know that you're doing it, I think can help, again, with any of these distractions and home kind of occupations. Um, another thing you can do is learning. So learning a new skill uh, or practicing a skill. So perhaps learning an instrument, uh, learning a language. I know, again, more and more courses for free are coming up online at the moment because of the situations that people are in. They want to spend their time doing something and a lot of people are volunteering to teach that, um, which is another thing you could do. You can volunteer to teach online um, or even a friend, because I know quite right now quite a few people are looking for things to do at home to occupy them and distract them. Um, you could offer to teach someone else something. Um, but yeah, or you could practice meditation. That's another thing that you can teach yourself and practice and get better at. Um, and having that time and space to do it and really try to um, be mindful and clear clear your head a little bit of whatever you need distraction from and, you know, occupy yourself. Meditation, it's a great time to do that. Um, and then there's FIMO. So I mentioned, sorry, not FIMO, there's crafts. Uh, so I mentioned that there are um, obviously arty things you can do, putting pen to paper. Um, but there's also things like FIMO, which I like, which that's why it came to my head just then, um, is basically clay that you can put in the oven and it kind of cooks it hard. Um, there's knitting, of course, sewing. Um, one of my friends, um, actually does resin so um, she kind of puts resin into molds and makes very beautiful things and people do it with whole pictures and things like that so it's worth looking up um, those things another one of my friends makes and decorates tote bags so um, it's worth looking up altern alternative kind of things that are crafty as well because um, Sometimes it's hard to get hold of everything, especially right now in the situation we in, we're in. I imagine that a lot of um, common uh, hobbies are going to be selling out of their supplies fairly quickly. Uh, so finding out what other kind of alternative little things that you can do and possibly the ones that you don't need supplies for at all um, could be well worth doing. Another good kind of home distraction technique is... Um, I don't know how to word it, but like nesting. So it could be just deciding that you're going to organise through a drawer or you're going to make your sofa extra comfortable with lots of blankets and cushions and you're going to arrange something. Um, yeah, kind of moving things around and making things fit and look nice and feel comfortable for you. That kind of nesting behaviour can be quite a nice way of um, distracting yourself and occupying your time um, in quite a positive way. Another one that I thoroughly recommend would be video logging. So again, it can give you that kind of connection with yourself, even if you don't put it online the way that I clearly have done. Um, making video logging just like journaling can help you to kind of have that mindfulness about how you are feeling um, and 
being a little bit sensitive to um yeah what what place you are at in your own mind in your own body how it feels to kind of say those things can sometimes open your eyes a bit to how um how you actually are doing within yourself and your well-being all of those things yeah thoroughly recommend and that's it for today's little video. Um, I will admit that before I pressed record, I was struggling to imagine putting up a video tonight. So although I am aware it's a bit unstructured, you may have heard of all these things before. Um, it may not have been extremely helpful during quite a trying time. I just really wanted to get out that video to you guys. Um, so tomorrow morning, if you are joining me, I am uh, going or tomorrow. I will be doing a kind of black bean chili type thing with sweet potato all within it. Um, and I would like to maybe discuss managing exercise at home as I kind of briefly mentioned yoga in this video. However, I, however, it kind of comes up, it, it kind of depends what comes up in the video. Just come along bring any questions you could possibly think of because that helps me hugely and bring some food um and yeah thank you again so so much we're all gonna get through this and i will see you very soon again